Can I please just back where you were a minute ago, more or less? Okay. So, uh, I will not be in shock, it's just you, I think. And, um, and we were just immersed into this meeting discussing uh, why we do do that and this and optimization of the hardware. And, and then I got a phone call and, um, and at first I thought it was a contract office because um, a couple of issues with contract office these days. And, um, and, uh, and then it was PR and then uh, and they told me the news. And I was on the shock because I was not at all expecting that this morning. It came absolutely as an absolute surprise to me. Uh, and when I came back in the room, uh, of course, they, they saw me leaving and I think they understood that something may have happened because we all know it's Nobel Prize week. Um, and um, and they, they congratulate me and, and I was just great because I could not breathe, I couldn't think. I had a kind of blackout, absolute blackout at that time. Uh, but, but part of these uh, 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 I mean, colleagues, I mean, they are, they are some, some of them are former PhD students of mine and, and that was really great. That was a perfect assembly to, to hear about that and to, to digest the first 20 minutes of the announcement. Uh, it requires a lot of pa uh, patience and most of My family is a bit around the world right now and even my wife, she's in Boston because I'm, I'm, I'm now in sabbatical in MIT and I just came in Cambridge for, for a week and I was about to go back and uh, I, I, I couldn't reach my wife right away because she was sleeping so it took me some time and uh, when, when I managed to get my wife, she told me that when she, she woke up she realized there were tons of messages on the, on the email because all the friends were congratulate her and she realized something may have happened and then I managed to get her and uh, yes, yeah, she tried to digest it as well and, uh, and in a way I'm glad I will be back uh, in, uh, on Thursday, I'm, I'm returning to, to Boston, I'm glad that we'll be they're a bit, a bit quiet and trying to digest what it means for us. And, and Mike is a bit all, all, all over the world. I mean, I didn't manage to get my son. He's traveling in India, so at some point he will hear. I'm doing and, and suddenly uh, she, she can I, I think the Nobel Prize has a lot of uh, incidences. I mean, one of them is acknowledging a real success in a new field of research, which is exoplanet. So I'm extremely glad because it really acts as a, as, a, as, a, as a boost for, for the field and, and I hope uh, we're going to use that to develop further uh, this field and integrate other departments together than earth science and chemistry together uh, to demonstrate this is a very serious topic and uh, detecting life in the universe finding planet. I mean, uh, it started 25 years ago. So, so in a way, um, that's, but that's the main impact I expect. Now, the, the other impact is, uh, is I hope it will just rise a bit further the awareness of, um, of just the beauty of science and, uh, and, and great is science. Hopefully this will maybe motivate other people to come in. It would not be too much, because I like my life how it is right now. I don't know. Well, I'm, 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 I'm hoping I will still, a little, I still have a lot of time uh, to continue my research and people have already warned me that maybe maybe it's more difficult, so we'll see. And I really hope they're wrong, because I really have uh, other goals and I think uh, we, we're moving for detecting small planets and possible panic having life and that's not that far away so so that's one of my um, uh, main interest right now um, uh, and I hope to be able to spend uh, time on that and and I would certainly maybe spend a bit more time to promote uh, science as a rule and